Hello everyone, this is my final look at the LEGO Creator 3-in-1 Adorable Dog Set. As of the completion of this video, I will have covered the main builds, which gives you three different dogs, and both of the alternate builds, each of which gives you two different dogs. This one has a husky, not to be confused with a Malamute, and a long-haired Dachshund. Also, with any of these builds, you can also have simultaneously the bowl, the food bowl from the main build, as well as the uh, the leash which isn't shown there and it's not shown there either retractable leash that can be built up and also a little a uh, little bone as you can see right there it's very important especially for folks who aren't too familiar with the creator three in one series to remember that you can only build one combination of any of these types of sets at one time so if you want to do multiple just expect to have to buy that many different sets so looking at the husky first I think maybe the upper part of the head, so it's very important to keep in mind that obviously these are trying to be a cartoon style. So they're not going for ultimate realism whatsoever. They're not trying to match the breed standard perfectly. And I'm good with that. And I feel like the top part of this head ca uh, captures this breed pretty decently well. The shape of the body is about right proportion wise, the length of the legs and everything, and also the, the tail. The way that the, the tail is suggested here with the the long waves i think that's good the color scheme is pretty good but the snout for me doesn't work it just doesn't it doesn't do it for me maybe that's more me than anything uh, the combination of the fact that there's no suggestion of of separation of lower jaw and just the shape here just doesn't quite doesn't quite work for me what does work definitely is again the <laughs> the the wheelbase of it and the the lower part of it with with the legs i feel like you can get some good some good movement out of this some good suggestion of movement the length of the legs their position and also just the the general weight distribution of this allows you to easily put it into a number of of act, action poses including check this out including being just on on three so that's good you know you can have one one up in the air Probably let that just angle down a little bit. Uh, this would be like so. Yeah, you know, just having having some of those options. You are a little bit limited though, in overall articulation of this with the the head barely being able to angle down. Yeah, it's just really limited there. Trying to move the collar out of the way, you get a lot more range with the head going up, but not so much going down. It's still limited going down and what that does is prevent you from getting into the most convincing sitting pose. I really want these dogs to be able to get into a sitting pose for folks who just want to have them on display on a desk or something, you know, for fans of the of the breed who want to have like a Lego version of their own dog. And this just you know, has to be looking up. The best I was able to get out of this was folding the rear legs, uh, so the rear uh, uh, paws up. And then I can get the front paws down on the ground. Then it looks like it's looking up at its owner and begging, you know, to some degree. So that kind of works but yeah definitely in standing poses this works again i just feel like the, the snout doesn't quite do it for me but there are a ton of pieces left over maybe you can customize this to look a little bit better for you if if anything about its look bugs you the back is fine though long-haired dachshund is not one of my favorite breeds at all just to look at and kind of their their concept however i do feel like this lego model did a better job of capturing what it's supposed to be. You can tell that it's going for long hair because of the the different colors, the slight bushiness of the tail, and especially the bushiness of the ears here. That's really, really important. I think there are a couple more, in, amongst the leftovers, there are a couple extras of these claw-like pieces or uh, rock detail pieces included in this color as well. If they could have been attached just right here, that might have been nice. Might have limited things though. I'm sure that there are reasons that those weren't used, even though they exist and they're kind of kind of special parts. But uh, this one is able to get its snout. Let's see, I've got the color on there, so I, if I move it, eh, it's still kind of kind of. It's able to get its snout all the way down to the ground like this, which is which is good. Oops, I just popped the head off. I ignore that. If I move that out of the way, look at that. It's able to look all the way up, like it's going to be doing most of the time. It tries to look at just about anything that isn't another one of itself. The the legs on this also work for me. They really work. These shorter legs for some reason in this set, the dogs that have the shorter legs just, I don't know, they, they feel like they capture their, 
their their gait exceptionally well. I guess the longer legs one, ones do and the mediums are the worst, but this does work for me. I can just imagine this easily, just doing its little its little trot, little dun, 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 uh, walking along. So I think as simple as this is, I think this is a really effective one. Maybe the snout isn't the best, especially with the exclusive use of the lighter color, but I definitely see some of that face as I look at it straight on. That looks better. Maybe a little bit off here, a little bit off here, but overall, I think this is well done. And again, with this build combination, you're also able to do this and you can still also have the, uh, the green and black rubbery bone as well as the retractable leash build uh, from, the, from the main build. And again, that concludes my look at this set. So I've got videos up now for each of the major build options. You can find those on this channel. Each of the, the builds and rebuilds were done live over on my Twitch channel. You can follow me over there for free and you don't need an app or anything. It's just like YouTube. You know, you can just watch by just going there. Links in the video description on my main channel page and all. If you'd like to check out some uh, of my standard live building stuff. I'd still do some on YouTube as well, but Twitch is the main place for my live content because I just find it to be particularly enjoyable and I've done a lot of work to just increase the, the user interactivity and also to curate the community to be really bring in the best of folks who have the best of times and are really, really good to one another. But thank you for watching here. I've got a lot more work to do, bringing you many more videos. So I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.